Okay, welcome back to Foxtech and today we are discussing a very important topic. How can you remove a virus from Safari on your iPhone? But first, let's clarify whether it's even possible for your iPhone to get a virus from Safari and how that would work. Because iPhones are generally less likely to get viruses due to the robust security features which are built into iOS. Safari, which is usually the default browser on your iPhone, operates in a sandboxed environment, meaning each app run, runs its own restricted space, limiting potential damage from malicious sites. While it's rare for a virus to infect an iPhone directly through Safari, it's not entirely impossible. More common threats include phishing attacks and malicious ads that can exploit vulnerabilities within Safari. But Apple frequently releases iOS updates that patch security holes and like deficiencies. You can check out the security patches included in each iOS update by visiting the Apple security update section. This is a public website where Apple keeps track and keeps you updated with the latest iOS version and it just makes sure they just want to publish all the things that they did in terms of security. So not just new features, but all of these security patches. So to minimize the risk of getting a virus, avoid clicking on unknown links, but most importantly, make sure your entire iOS is always updated. This is very useful, but for like your general safety, you should stick to installing apps from the App Store only as this significantly reduces the risk. And yeah, if you suspect that Safari might have been compromised or something might have happened, here is what you can do. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. You need to scroll down and tap on Safari. Once you're in the Safari settings, you can tap on clear history and website data. This section will help remove any malicious data that might be causing issues. You can choose to clear all history or just the recent history by selecting the today and yesterday, whatever you want, essentially. Additionally, you can tap on close all tabs to ensure that any potentially harmful tabs are closed. So by following these steps, but more importantly, understanding how it works, you should keep your device much more safer. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.